All right, so we are out in the garden again. Um, a little bit later than yesterday, I got home late. Didn't really want to come out here. Again, that's that motivation factor and why I'm saying I want to do little projects every day um, or just chip away at my list. So I'm forcing myself to come out here and kind of do stuff. It is a windy day, so it's a bit nicer. I actually uh, have goosebumps. I think that's an Arizona thing. It really is not that cold today. Um, but it reminds me of my summers in Montana, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna get to working on different things. I also pulled out my soil water tester thing, so I wanna see a little bit about that. But um, big thing I wanna check off my list is I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit uh, more planting. So if you're getting into gardening, you probably love garden gadgets like I do. Cause you're like, what can make my life easier so I can comprehend this? So I got this one and I've never, I've been highly suspicious. I don't know why, I'm just like, oh yeah, they got this cool tool, now let me like not think it works. That's the way I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a couple tests and show you what happens. So wanting to see if this works, my bees balm gets all wilty like this. And it makes me question like, oh, it must be dry. So guess what, we're gonna check. Oh yeah, that's like hard AF. So we stick it in there, and if it will stop, you can see that is dry, like that's crazy. So this thing drinks a ton of water, because I do have like mulch down there, I'm gonna have to hay it. Um, this is stuff from yesterday, so we'll stick it in there. Again, bone dry, that should not be wet. Where I was surprised, ooh, coming over here, are these guys. So this is kind of what I'm wanting to test too, is see, all right, how are these doing? So these ones don't have mulch on them. So we'll stick it in. Oh, someone's showing like moist. You could use a sprinkle, a dash of water. Versus like when I come over here and I check these ones. Oh, well we're getting a little bit closer to the root base I get and I didn't do that on them the first time wet and you can see it's slowly going down but now let's check out these artichokes that I have to water constantly and there's like a lot of mulch in there Ugh. so it's registering wet but you got to give it like a minute and you can see it's starting to go down so I honestly will just leave this for a second and then come back and look at it no, it's holding steady at what? All right, so I just filled the buckets I can for tonight. I figure I'm gonna do some other work and then run to the store to get more soil once the sun goes down. So then this way I have quite a bit of everything done that I need to be doing. Um, but I got really close, so I got five done. I need to do two more, um, but I'm out of soil. So I'm gonna do some watering and some trimming on my plants so to get some of the leaves up so they're not getting infected by bugs because it's gonna be insects. So just gonna keep working on it. Keep working, working, working. Okay. So I am curious on how I'm doing on my soil moisture for my corn and how quickly it's absorbing. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm overwatering, underwatering, everything like that. So one thing I've struggled with, um, especially just because of the way that I am, is trying to figure out like what's the science like what do I need to do is a cup of water every day gonna make them survive um, and I'm discovering it's not necessarily that it's a lot of all kinds of stuff um, so I'm just checking the soil moisture on these little guys I might give them another spruce because um, they're still technically seedlings they just came up um, but then I'm also going to check my bigger ones so let me show you how the corn is. There we go. So you can see that the corn is registering moist. 
um, for this little bit, and then let's just snag that. All right, so I stuck it in right there. One thing I'm struggling with with my corn is I have such a thick layer of hay on top of it to hold all the water in that I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So as with yesterday, we got to see my first reaction to um, a flower on camera. Uh, I had just turned off the camera and I looked over at my corn and that's the sign of corn right there. Right, oh, right down there, sign of corn. Um, this is really cool actually. Um, I hear you're supposed to add a little bit of, um, oh, just a stick. I was looking, trying to figure out what it was. So I hear you're supposed to add a little bit of mineral oil to keep bugs out, but since it's my first year growing in, I don't know if they're going to actually get bugs. I'm kind of like, do I do it? Do I not do it? Um, but we'll wait and see. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to go through and um, trim the underneath side of a lot of my plants and check my tomatoes for any suckers. I think that's when I get done tonight um, and then I am going to go ahead and water a couple items not everything so I'm doing an experiment and then I'm going to head to the store and get more soil